Biased sampling occurs when a sample is collected in a way that does not accurately represent the entire population, leading to misleading or inaccurate results. In research, a sample is meant to reflect the characteristics of the larger group being studied. However, if certain groups are overrepresented or underrepresented, the findings may not be valid or applicable to the whole population. Biased sampling can happen in surveys, experiments, or observational studies, and it often leads to incorrect conclusions. Because research depends on reliable data, avoiding biased sampling is essential for producing accurate and meaningful results. Now let's look at an example of biased sampling. An example of biased sampling is a survey about job satisfaction that only includes employees from a single company that offers high salaries and good working conditions. The results might suggest that most employees are highly satisfied with their jobs, but this does not represent workers in lower paying or less favourable environments. Another example is a medical study that only includes participants from one specific age group, leading to conclusions that may not apply to younger or older individuals. In both cases, the sample does not reflect the diversity of the entire population, which can lead to flawed conclusions. Now let's explore some common causes of biased sampling. One common cause of biased sampling is convenience sampling, where researchers select participants who are easy to reach rather than those who best represent the population. Another cause is voluntary response bias, which happens when only people with strong opinions choose to participate in a study, leading to unbalanced results. Selection bias can also occur if researchers unintentionally favour certain groups when choosing participants. Additionally, non-response bias happens when certain individuals do not respond to surveys or studies, making the sample less representative of the whole population. These causes highlight why biased sampling can occur even when researchers do not intend for it to happen. Now let's examine some different types of biased sampling. One type of biased sampling is undercoverage bias which happens when a portion of the population is not included in the sample, leading to incomplete data. Another type is self-selection bias, where participants choose to be part of a study based on their personal interests, which can make the results skewed towards certain viewpoints. Survivorship bias occurs when only successful or long-lasting subjects are included, ignoring those that failed or dropped out. A final type is recall bias, which happens in studies that rely on participants remembering past events, leading to inaccuracies if their memories are incomplete or distorted. Understanding these types of biased sampling helps researchers recognise potential flaws in their data. Now let's explore how to avoid biased sampling. One way to avoid biased sampling is by using random sampling, where every individual in the population has an equal chance of being selected. This ensures that the sample is representative and reduces the risk of favouring certain groups. Another strategy is to use stratified sampling, where the population is divided into smaller groups based on relevant characteristics and participants are randomly selected from each group. Researchers can also reduce bias by increasing response rates in surveys, ensuring that missing data does not distort the findings. Additionally, careful planning and reviewing sample selection methods can help prevent unintentional bias from affecting the results. By taking these steps, researchers can improve the accuracy and reliability of their studies.